From 50 cents, double struck with brokerage. Gray that means day 64 by PCGS. Dramatic mint errors that features a clear case of double striking, interestingly so with dies of $1973. And then further case of a coin sticking to the dies to yield a brokerage impression of the reverse building design. Very unlikely even for a mint error. A fascinating study piece. Sold on January 12, 2020 for $1,540 at Heritage Auctions. Moving to this proof coin from Australia, 1955 Elizabeth II proof penny minted by Purse Mint. Great as PR64 read by NGC. An impressive fully read representative of this elusive Purse Mint proof with no spotting or other issues of concern to speak of. Metal composition is bronze and weight is nearly 10 grams. Sold on April 11, 2014 for $10,575 at Heritage Auctions. Here is British coin featuring young queen's portrait facing right. Her so-called first portrait, 1960, proof 5 shillings. Rated as PR66 with cameo designation, exact mintage of this coin is unknown, but it is estimated to be between 11 or 20 overall. Very rare proof striking that is vital to the collections of British and crown specialists in general. This lustrous vibrant gem radiates with tremendous mirrored nature and subtle frosting to the devices. Sold in May 2024, $10,200 at Stax Powers. Yet another error coin from Canada, 1971. Elizabeth II dollar coin struck on a silver planchet. An exceedingly rare strike on a silver planchet weighing 17 grams. Although the offering has been designated as a mint error by PCGS, this is perhaps unlikely smaller silver planchets of these weight were not in use at the time as the Royal Canadian Mint and the, and the 32mm size is the same as the specification for the standard nickel issue. Lightly handled and reflective with a care in preservation that places the offering at the cusp of gem status. This intriguing rarity should easily find itself targeted by Canadian specialist collectors. Sold on January 10th, 2024, $12,000 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1958 Gold Proof Sovereign at PR67 deep cameo condition. This specimen is nearly perfect, may actually be undergraded, and has the sweetest eye appeal imaginable. Black and white cameo contrast on both Queen's portrait and St. George's figure. A perfect proof impression of the dice, flawless surfaces, and exquisite honey gold color. Actual gold weight is 0.23 O's. Let alone meth value of this coin is more than $260. Sold on January 4th, 2010 for $14,375 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1983 gold, $2,500 from Bahamas. Choice proof with George's cameo on both sides, issued for the 10th anniversary of independence. Portrait of useful Elizabeth, reverse as flamingo and dolphin supporting arms. Mintage of just 55 pieces and comes in original custom box with certificate of authenticity. Actual weight of gold is 12 golds, sold in 2009 for $12,075 at Heritage Auctions. This is error coin from Canada, 1969 Elizabeth II, 25 cents, struck on a German gold 20 marks, dated 1906. An extremely rare mint error or mint sport. Much of the detail of the original piece remains and the coin itself has survived in fully gem condition. Its flashy pale gold surface is shining with gentle wateriness. Comparable to an example of the same date, this struck over a Great Britain gold sovereign dated 1967 offered at Heritage in 2014, which sold for $18,000, possibly unique with the present undertype and a trophy piece for the collector of Canadian Mint Errors, sold on January 22, 2021 for $21,000 at Heritage Auctions. This is double struck proof coin from Canada, 1985 Elizabeth II National Parks, $100. This gold proof $100 coin has been double struck over about 60% of its obverse, warping the flan. Its very existence is remarkable considering the stringent production standards surrounding the minting of gold coins. What's more, 
The very fact it left the mint is outstanding, being such a significant and obvious error. That being said, there is something immensely charming about this piece. Whereas numismatics I saw used to seeing flat, motionless discs, this coin positively leaps out at the viewer, hurled into three dimensions by the merciless crushing blow of the die. Every dynamic curve flows with gleaming luster achieving cameo flows to the devices even its twisted state. Sold on January 7, 2019 for $19,200 at heritage auctions. Moving on to this excessively rare British coin, 1976 Elizabeth II proof pattern sovereign, graded at PR65 by PCGS, highly elusive discovery piece that first came to light around 2004-2005 and has been confirmed by the British Royal Mint to be one of the paltry two pieces struck without device fosting as VIP proofs in 1976. The sole example available to collectors with the other specimen currently residing in Royal Mint's collection. It will be fair to say that this is likely the second rarest Elizabeth II sovereign, following the virtual unattainable 1953 and is certainly the most elusive to carry her decimal portrait bust. One of the great modern rarities of the British series and quite possibly the only opportunity to most collectors will have. Sold on November 5th, 2020 for $39,600. Here is one unique gold dollar coin. 2003 Elizabeth II Proof Golden Jubilee dollar coin. Great as PR67 did cameo by PCGS. Absolutely unique, this stunning commemorative coin celebrates the 50th anniversary of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. The verse design renders the monarch's bust simply Hair coif but with other crown, while the revival of the earlier Voyager design is centered on the reverse. Both sides of the planchets are deeply infused with honeyed color. The fields filled with endless flash that reflects at every turn. While the rays feature is thickly frosted throughout, result in outstanding cameo contrast. Produced with the intention of raising money for charity. The Royal Canadian Mint used the dies that were created for 2003 special edition silver dollar to strike just one example in gold, this coin. Though only 16 years old, the historical significance of this rare dollar adds tremendously to its allure. Sold on August 15, 2019 for $108,000. Jumping onto these 2021 Gothic Crown Portrait Golden Proof 2000 pounds were a limited edition with mintage of only 8 pieces. A truly spectacular rendering yawn and dice, instantly recognizable gothic crown portrait. Certainly one of the most popular issues during the victorious, prolific reign ranked among her Una and the Lion and, and Jubilee coinage. And now as a part of Elizabeth II's Great Engravers series. A pristine specimen as confirmed by NGC and appropriately so Dressed in a full golden resplendence punctuated by pristine and seemingly endless mirrors. Contains 64 oz gold. Sold on August 25th, 2022 for $180,000 at Heritage Auctions. And the most expensive lot featuring Elizabeth II at Heritage so far. 2019 Elizabeth II Proof Una and the Lion, £2,000. Great SPR 69 Ultra Cameo by NGC. An absolutely massive modern British rarity and the second largest denomination ever struck by the Royal Mint, produced a minuscule figure of just four pieces, of which is verified to be the first. The type was issued in commemoration of the 170th anniversary of William Young's acclaimed 1839 Una and the Lion £5, part of Victoria's delayed coronation proof set and often considered to be one of the finest design ever engraved for the British coin, essentially flawless in technical quality, exceptional even as collectors issue owning twist vastly expansive surfaces, perhaps only the most minor evidence of haze on the verse accounts for its sub-70 designation. Sold on January 21, 2021 for $360,000. And the most valuable lot from Stax Bowers, Australian 2006 Elizabeth II, $30,000, minted in purse, contains 
9,999 owes pure gold. On the overs, we see mature head of Queen Elizabeth II by rank broadly. On the reverse, Beagle standing, the year Chinese characters for dog, and the Nornit border of bats and clouds, traditional symbols of health, peace and prosperity around. Certainly one of the largest gold coins ever made and the highest Australian dollar denomination coin, accompanied by the letter from Pursmith, attesting that this piece is one of maximum vintage of 20 pieces. Of that total authorized striking, only 7 were struck, making this an excessively rare coin, adding to the desirability of this coin. It is the first 10 kilo gold coin struck ever. Set in a lucid frame, frame has minor scuffs, the coin has wonderful cameo contrast, and only the slightest evidence of clouding. Light, lint marks can be seen with the fort. A rare and also modern golden issue, sold in 2011 for $517,500 at Stax Powers.